Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans, for our main event of the evening. 15 rounds, middleweight action between Arislandi Lara and Jermaine Taylor. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Good combination to the head. A headshot blocked. Two guys that can really take each other out. What's the best means of defense? Well, if one guy says to himself, I'm not the power puncher, then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. A well-placed overhand right. Great hook to the head that time. He's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. That's a solid right hand by Jermaine Taylor. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Jermaine Taylor. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Combo lands to the head. A shooting right hand by Jermaine Taylor. Blocks the head shot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He scored well after being hit himself. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Taylor's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. You can sense it right away, Teddy. Looks like it's a tactical bout tonight. Well, that's what happens when you get two counter punches. Nobody wants to leave. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Scores with the combo to the head. A well-placed left hand up top. Solid right by Jermaine Taylor. You can see him timing that double jab to the head. here on our fight night. Always a good time to come here to this venue. Hey, great fans. I mean, wherever we go on our fight night tour, we have great fans. Yeah, passionate fans. Fans that know the fighters and care about the sport. Listen, you need to move your head more. Side to side, okay? I want to see that head. Here you go. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? 
Taylor's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with, because if he does, I think it's over. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Hits him in the mug with the right. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Let's see some more head movements. Laura's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Jermaine Taylor's damaged by a left hand. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Laura's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Jermaine Taylor scores well with that left. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Hard to believe they can still give like this in these final moments of what has been a sensational round. I feel like I'm back at the amusement park on the roller coaster again, like a kid. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Laura's using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Take yourself. How about that left hand? And clicks of the talk. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Jermaine Taylor. And that does it for this round. Taylor's corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find change on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Just keep throwing punches. All night long. This is your... So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Laura's combination punching is working well here. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Good exchange. He fires back. Now he brings the left hand upstairs. Fires right back at him. Taylor's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land, but this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. And now you can see him zoning in on the target with that double jab. 
nice work. The left hand to the head. Look at that. Right to the head and right to the canvas. Trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Laura's applying an old axiom in sports, and that is speed kills. He's got plenty of it in the ring tonight. Yes, he does. It's going to be up to his opponent now to find a way to take away that speed. Find Taylor's... Oh, and there you go. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? here unable to go the distance he couldn't rise up and beat the count <laughs> 